uh, I'm gonna start. Okay, so I am recording now. Okay, good. We're we're finally after we did it. We did it. Sorry, man. I'm not very good at the old. Uh, no, it's it, it's okay. We're we're all getting used to this whole new form of uh, uh, interviewing and, and and press junket. Or where are you right now? I'm in um sort of Kenyan country. Uh, like. 50 minutes above LA or an hour above LA. Okay, cool. But um, but how are you doing? H how are you navigating through things right now? Are you holding, are you, are you hanging in I'm there? Good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good, mate. I feel a lot worse for um, people who are doing it way worse than me. I'm actually very lucky. I've got a little, ra little place here, a little ranch. And so I'm working every day. It doesn't, it hasn't affected me mm -hmm. hugely other, other than, um, not making any money at all. It's a bit tough, but just so many people have got it so tougher than me, mate. I yeah. cannot complain at all. I'm very lucky to be out here. I can ride or go for walks or whatever. There's room everywhere. And I sort of just work every day, so I'm very entertained. Good, 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 good. Good to. Uh, How about you, mate? Where uh, are you at? I am in LA, uh, so I'm like I kind of right in central LA. I I, I live near Lakma. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so luckily, I mean, I, I, I'm lucky enough to, you know, I'm, I'm still working. I, I'm great, grateful for that. And yeah. we're just, we're just shifting how we cover things. And, um, yeah. but I, I'm doing what I can to, you know, help people <laughs> out and, um, and, um, and just do, you know, do my best and stay positive. And, and and keep yeah. the faith, you know. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I wish it was the other way. I wish it was um, you had to be in contact with people, and you had no internet and all that stuff. I'd love the world to shut down the internet for two months and see what happened to people without yeah. virus. Obviously, I'd love yeah. a world where you can only if you want to talk to somebody, you got to write a letter or go see him or yeah, yeah. Um, um, uh, but you know, uh, how, you know, you, you've been working. You've been, uh, you know, you know, working around there. And how have you have you learned any new trades? Like, you know, how, <laughs> have you been binging stuff? Have you been trying to, uh, you know, have you learned new things? Like, what what are you doing to, you know, kind of keep um, entertained? No, well, I just do all the stuff that I like. I, I grew up on a farm, so I'm just doing all that stuff. It's just more about having the time. Mm -hmm to do it you know and this place i've had this place for three uh three years and i've been away all the time so i've never got to to really work on it too yeah, yeah. much yeah yeah, yeah. so um, i'd like to do everything i grew up doing all sorts of stuff so i'd like to do it all myself and oh, okay. it's a it's an excuse to um well no i'm forced to <laughs> i have the chance now to do what I what I sort of want to do at the place, and you know, and I'm not. I don't feel like I'm missing out on on stuff that I should be yeah. doing because I'm not allowed to do. It, so, yeah. you know. Well, uh, you know, you're on this new Quibi series. You know, uh, Fifty States of Fry. You know, um, but first off, were you a Sam Raimi fan uh, from the beginning? Like, uh, have you been a fan of horror? Like, how? Wh wh where do you stand with horror? And uh, you know. No, I'm not huge into our horror uh, at all. I was when I was a young kid, but um, uh, everybody knows Sam Rainey, and he, he was a most enjoyable fella mm. to work with. It was unbelievable. He's such a down-to-earth man and so talented and got such a great career, and I really, really, really enjoyed um, being around him and watching him and talking to him and all that stuff. We shot it last year in um, only for a week or something in... Uh, Vancouver, just yeah. outside of Vancouver, and uh, we had a great time. And Rachel's such a sweetheart. Yeah, I, I think you you guys pretty much like start off the whole you know series, um, and it's it, it's such a like I, I love this idea of this. You know, first off, you know, Quibi is this interesting new platform. You know, and then when yeah. you when you heard that this show and how the format was going to be, what was your initial reaction? Because a lot of people are like all wondering what this Quibi thing is going to be, how it's going to work. But I know when I watched it, it it it, it kind of split it up pretty decent, you know, in, in this cool way. But 
when you heard about the new platform, when you heard about the show, what was your initial reaction? I actually wanted to try to get some shares in it. I thought it was an amazing idea, but it's a privately owned thing. I can't get shares. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I think it's an amazing idea and concept. Everybody's on their phone all the time. It's mm -hmm. like, for me, uh, just sitting around anyway, you wait in the doctor's office or whatever, you want to watch a full full little film or whatever for 10 minutes or a little episode. I, I think it's um, fantastic. Everybody's on their phone anyway, and I'd rather, I'd rather, I think it's better for people to watch creative stuff than looking up dumb gossip stuff. <laughs> phone, you know? Yeah. Yeah. With, with um, latest hairstyle or something. And, and with this particular story, it's like, you know, of, of course, when I was watching it, I was I was waiting for the big thing to happen because that's what you do with these Sam Raimi projects, right? When you were watching these these horrors, and it's like I I I I love watching horror, but I do get squeamish, uh, <laughs> with, with uh, things, especially with the one scene where it happens to Rachel. You know, where you have to chop off her arm, but like when you read this story, and were you familiar with this urban legend, or you know? Uh, what was your reaction to the story and like how did you like in this weird way how did you connect with the story um well i was i was away working sam called me and uh we spoke about the script and he said what he wanted to do with it and um as you know it's like so many scripts that have just become sort of a love story and, and it's, a, it's a bit off kilter so i i um i enjoyed um, providing for her mm. and like she can't she's um she's uh it seems like sometimes she's in it for me buying a jewelry yeah. and all that stuff but uh, I think my character really enjoyed being able to do that for her and he'd do anything for her and um he loves her so much and I think she enjoys how much I love her and to to do that for her and um I don't know. It's just like I think it's a love story, you know. And even when they're dead, they're together in the end, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I drive by taking her arm, it drives her to come back and haunt me, which mm. I want. We're together again, mm. you know. So I think it's a ha happy ending. Yeah. It, you know, it, we might be dead, but at least we're together. <laughs> it is this weird, uh, uh, macabre love story that. Uh, in a way it works and in a way it kind of is creepy uh and um but uh you know were you because i know that the the 50 states of, of fright they they take um they're taking urban legends from different states uh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, were you familiar with this story at all no no i wasn't at all but uh, i i think it's a great it's a great way for filmmakers to do shorts and that sort of stuff and mm -hmm. um I would love to do a heap of them. To be honest, you go in for a week, do a little short and tell a little story and um, and go home. I'd love to have a career just doing that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Instead of having to move somewhere for three months or six months or whatever, I'd rather go do a few for a week, meet new people. And, you know, I think it's a great concept and, and, and uh, I really think it'll do, do really well. Mm. Uh, when you, like, what was your, you know, favorite part of this, your, your installment of, of, of this series, of, of this um, uh, anthology? Um, the, the three that I did or the... Oh, the, your, the, the your, your, your particular story. What was, that, what was your favorite part of filming it? Like, uh, and, you know... Uh, well, I've never had to do the... Um... I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's more interesting to me was I, I've never done a scary movie, so to be to try to play all the fear and that sort of stuff, and you know, try to be a bit of a little girl about it, sort <laughs> of in a way. I mean, just like not um, I don't mean little girl, but I mean uh, just to show that fear and not be afraid of you know whatever screaming or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, uh, where, where you're originally from Australia, correct? Yeah. Between uh, Melbourne and Sydney. Yep. Um, so like, how is it, are there different urban legends there? Like, 
and how do they compare to the ones you hear here in the States? Like, what are some of your favorite urban legends that you've heard or like lore or uh, kind of scary stories like from your childhood or your, 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 your um, um, kind of in high school? Were there, and even like, I know a lot of it's like localized here in the States, like, but have the, were there any urban legends where, where you're from that you believe in or that you kind of, that you, you deem as your favorite? No, not really. I, I don't really know any back there. But mm -hmm. um, as a kid, I, I don't know the urban legends. I just like the Freddy Kruegers and that. I mean, they're <laughs> not the urban legends around there, but that's what, that's what scared me when I was little. Mm -hmm. when they first came out but um no it's not really my genre mate so i i, I couldn't name mm -hmm. 10 scary movies mm -hmm. you know well i can name four <laughs> Freddy Krueger, i think they did four. <laughs> um so like uh you know i know the, the industry is on you know it, it, it's shut down right now but you know after you, we come out on the other side of this you know well actually before i get into that like with this anthology, I know it's horror, and I know this story is this interesting love story, but outside of the horror aspect of this, what do you hope people retain from like this moral or the themes that you're, you, you tell in your portion of, uh, of the series? Ah. Uh. Um. Well, it's kind of weird because I chop her arm off and she comes back and kills <laughs> me. But um, it's uh, doing anything for the one person that you love, you know, or your soulmate or whatever. Is doing it, um, going very far doing that or doing insane things or or um, to just to be with each other. I literally, I. My choice was to get her out of the grave to bring her back to me, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I'm happy to sacrifice my own life to be, to lay next to her in a grave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's kind of probably not a good message. <laughs> no, I think I think what what Sam Raimi does uh, excellently, and like what the, this your portion of the show, it's it's kind of this extreme love, right? Like, uh, yeah. I mean, it's love, but it's just love that's sensationalized and to this point where you're like, wow, these two people are both kind of a little bit not all there. <laughs> they, they, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, when we come out on the other side of this, which I hope is sooner rather than later, you know, what, what else are you working on or what else do you hope to do? And kind of what helps, what else, what do you hope? happens on the other side of all this and what we're going through um well hopefully but i don't want to you know try to be deeper or anything but um hopefully it makes people appreciate each other a lot more and what they do and i hope there's not a huge i hope it really gets fixed where people are happy to be close to each other and there's not a fear hopefully one day we can go back to how it was you know but mm -hmm. with more appreciation of being able to do that yeah. you know i hope it's not some situation where we're doing this for for years and you're doing social distancing for a long time mm -hmm. you know if we have to do it have to do it but um it'll be a pretty sort of sad sad event if it carries on for yeah for yeah. years you know but um and then work-wise i um uh, I'm doing a spaghetti western, which I really oh nice excited to do yeah. Mm -hmm. So that'll be um that'll be great in Italy and Spain and and um, Morocco. So I really look forward to that. It's not a definite thing, but it's in um, development. The scripts are amazing, and everybody involved is great. So I'm really excited about that. And then I'm doing it. Um, we're meant to go back to do more of um. I did a ten episodes of a Ridley Scott thing last year, um, Raised by Wolves. Oh yeah, 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 nice. Yeah, so that was, that was very enjoyable, and he's such a great fella. And um, so we go back to South Africa to do another, I think, eight of mm. them. But you know, who knows? I still yeah. might be here. <laughs> Hopefully not. I mean, like, I I personally believe that I'm 
interested to see what's going to happen and how we're going to interact with each other after this. Um, yeah. it, it's going to be different, but I think just the fact that we will be able to see our loved ones and our friends face to face is what I'm looking forward to. Whether yeah. or not we'll be able to shake hands or whatever it, it is a totally different story, yeah. but just to have the physical presence of family and friends is what I'm yeah. personally looking forward to. And, you know, so hopefully sooner rather than later, right? Keeping faith, but also yeah. being cautiously optimistic in this weird way. So, but, but, um, yeah, yeah. I hope you're right, be, it's uh, been a, uh, a weird world, but everybody, it's a, you have to appreciate, appreciate everybody trying to do the right thing. Mm, yeah, you definitely. Know, no more. No more orgies and things like that. <laughs> no more, you know, the, a moratorium on the orgies, guys. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, yeah. But Travis, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Um, and you know, it looks very peaceful where you are. <laughs> and um, but it is, you know. mate. It is very, very yeah. uh, quiet. But it's good and green. A lot of yeah. rain. Yeah. Nice. Right. And. You know, and it's really, uh, 50 uh, States of Fright is really exciting and this new way to consume information. Uh, Quibi is a new way to consume content, but all at the same time, loving 50 States of Fright and your portion is a great way to kick off the anthology. So congratulations on that. And um, yeah, thanks again. And, you know, stay safe, stay hopeful and, you know, positive energy to you, man. Um, and you too, buddy. You yeah, too. cool. Cool, man. Anytime, Thank you. mate. Thanks, buddy. Sorry it took me so long to work <laughs> out the computer thing. No problem, man. <laughs> right, Thank you so you. much. Bye-bye. Save it. Cheers, Bye -bye. Bye. You too.